Showing here how this idler benefits the situation. Uh, because we have adjustability on one inch increments, that idler can be positioned such that we are missing tire and fender lip as well. And again, about two and a half inches off the deck, uh, that can be positioned for the ideal exit angle. We don't really want to see the, the idler tucked back under the tire. That would allow the tire to roll a little bit before being restrained. Ideally, a little bit more angle would even be better, but we're very close to the fender as it is. So that's really the, the best possible location for that idler. If you have an application where you don't need a lot of adjustability, but you still need to be able to place an idler, we have a number of choices. If you're trying to work in conjunction with the Versatile track, that double stud anchor plate's a great way to go. It's the same fitting here, but we also make a corresponding backing plate that goes beneath the deck, has PEM nuts built right in place, and you can simply attach it that way. So if you're not needing a lot of adjustability but still need an idler, the double stud's a great way to go, and then we have a couple of offerings of just a deck-mounted idler as well. Forgive the mock-up nature of this, but one of the things I'm trying to point out here is that if we know that your straps are ultimately going to connect to a piece of track, one variety or another, we can sew the track fitting that relates directly to the strap assembly. So notice how clean this makes this junction here, less than two and a half inches tall, versus if we sew a traditional hook and then engage that into a track fitting. Now look at the difference. Also note, we're getting dangerously close to paint and bodywork here where this low-lying, super clean application, much better result. Another advantage of buying from Max, we build all this in-house and can tailor it just for your needs.